Hey, so I wanted to, you know, respond to a few things. Um, a few weeks ago, I was actually going to, you know, discuss certain things and decided not to. Um, but I think today is, you know, the perfect time to address things that are on my heart. Um, you know, I woke up today to, to you know, Chad's comment and as much as much as I told myself that I wasn't going to respond because it's not the first time that he's made this comment um I'm just tired you know I'm really really tired and I for this man to sit up there and say that you know he lost his temper for three seconds is infuriating to me you know and as much as I'm trying to heal from this situation that's been I've been dealing with this shit for years you know not only because I'm on a show just everything is just so public so you know as much as I'm trying to heal from this it's messages like this it's tweets or whatever the hell it was that are triggers for me okay and you know for this man to say you know uh, um it was once incident three seconds of his life he lost everything and then what you know what happens it's a it's it's it affects you know people read this on social media and then are are, are you know coming at me talking about oh you made this man lose his job it's like if you're gonna speak the truth i want you to speak the truth as to what the situation was okay it wasn't the first time it wasn't the first time. And, and and one of the things that I'm always gonna do is I'm always gonna live in my truth. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's ugly, I'm not going to let anybody take away my fucking truth, okay? And, and, and put this perception out there for a pity party as if you made one mistake, you know? And I'm trying to move on from this, but as a victim, how am I supposed to move on? And I'm not looking for attention. I was at home. I'm minding my own fucking business. And then I have to deal with this. And it's hurtful to me. It's hurtful to me because I know my truth. And I've never, I have never discussed anything else that has ever happened other than the incident that people know. Because I always was concerned about his kids and our kids and always having to relive this. But you can't make comments like this and expect for nobody, especially me, that I'm on the other end of this to feel how I feel, okay? And then when it comes to, you know, basketball wives, I know that people, you know, tend to connect, you know, my character on this show with what happened to him. And I understand that to a certain degree, you know, I get it. I, I take full responsibility. I know I'm the one on this show. I'm no, I'm the one that hasn't been the most positive person. I know I'm the one that has made us look bad and I'm sorry. And I understand that I didn't always handle things the right way, you know? I am, and, and I'm, I'm embarrassed. I am. I'm embarrassed, and and I'm embarrassed sometimes for my family because, like, this is a forever thing, you know. And but my care, my the, the person that I am on basketball wives, and who I am as a mother, and how I've been in my personal relationships, whether it be with Carl or Chad, are two totally different things. And what happened to me that day and other days. I didn't deserve I didn't deserve that because I have always been a good woman I have always been a great mom I have always been a great stepmom and for this man to make that comment today more than one occasion I have ignored this several times because I don't want to argue I want to move on from this situation is a trigger for me and you know, I apologize to just the world and everybody just for not being the most positive person um, when you were watching the show and sitting in the house and, and, and maybe saying certain things and maybe at the time it was funny and it wasn't. Because of everything that's going on, I know I have to do better. I know I have to do better. So I apologize for that and for anyone that is 
dealing with domestic violence, you don't let nobody, when I tell you, you don't let nobody fucking take away your truth. You don't let nobody make you feel like you're wrong for being honest and speaking up about something that happened to you, okay? Let me be an example because I refuse to let social media, I refuse to let the world attack me because I have always been honest about this situation. I have never lied about not one detail as to what happened to me. So I'm going to leave this video here and I'm sorry that I'm so upset. It's just that this is a lot for me and I just want to heal and I just want to move on from this situation. So if we're going to speak about this situation, we could talk about the truth. Um, always we could be honest and we could talk about everything that happened if you really want to discuss it. But if you don't, then don't say nothing.